Welcome to the first installment in this ASMR test your Harry Potter knowledge. So, we have the gorgeous Bellatrix by HBC, and I'm doing this quite different. So, I am recording this first. I'm also recording a non-ASMR version. After this, it will be a quick fire test your knowledge. So I won't be taking part in that one because I already know the answers. Because I will be testing my own knowledge in this one. So with this game, remove the J switch, but we'll keep. We have, well, lots and lots and lots of cards, so we could play this for a very long time. Um, I think we'll do five cards. And as you can see here, so we have the different, I won't be rolling the dice, I'll just be, just so you can hear my cat creating some extra noise. She's decided to jump up on the chair behind me. Um, I'll just be going through the questions on the cards. So we have purple is dark arts. Blue is Hogwarts. The pink is magical spells and potions. Orange is magical objects. Yellow is magical people. And green is animals and magic creatures. I expect I'll do the most well, probably out of the three left hand categories. Maybe magical objects. Maybe magical people. I don't think I'll do very well at animals and magical creatures. Because as much as I love to live and breathe Harry Potter, my memory is appalling. So when it comes to things that require complex animal names, um, if, it, if it's beyond Buckbeak, Hippogriff, Nargle, my memory goes a little bit wonky, but we'll see how I do. So I'll pop those in there, and we shall begin. So we have six questions per card, five cards, five. Yes, I did get all five, so that's 30 questions. Please feel free to tell me how many of the 30 you got right. As I said, I'm doing this for the first time myself. So I will take my score, but when I do the quickfire version, which will be before this, I won't be taking part. So, whose body is Voldemort possessing the first time he comes face to face with Harry? I assume that means not when Harry's a baby. So we have Professor Quirrell. According to legend, who built the Chamber of Secrets within Hogwarts? That is Salazar Slytherin. When they travel back in time, what spell did Harry and Hermione see Professor Lupin use to calm the Whomping Willow? Oh, ah, it's a memory thing. It is, I'm going to go with... I can't even name a single spell. All I can think of is from Guardian Leviosa. Cruciatus, Nevada Kedavra. This is abysmal. I'm going to just have to pass and get overexcited when I realise it's probably an obvious answer. What selects the champions who will participate in the Tri Wizard Tournament? That is the sorting hat. No, it's not. It's the, um,. Yeah, the, the cup, the goblet. Is it a goblet? I was going to call it Triwizard Cup, but that's the cup. Is it the same cup that they win? In my defence, it's my least favourite of the Harry Potter films. <laughs> uh, for how many uh, years has Sirius Black been in Azkaban? He has been in Azkaban for many years. I honestly don't know. It's a numbers thing. My memory is appalling. I'm going to have to go with... I'm going to go with 15 years. Hang on. 
know if he has some good code with 15, 12, 14, 14 years. My final answer. What type of creature grabs Harry's hand when he ha tries to take the water from the lake to give Professor Dumbledore the in the Horcrux grave? Horcrux cave. Is it a water nymph? Feels like a wrong answer. Let's have a look. So we have I can't see. Professor Quirrell, one point. Salazar Slytherin, two points. Of course. <laughs> Let's just take a minute to realise that the answer is the name of the book. What was the goblet? I said the goblet. I'm giving myself a point for that. I'm going to need it. Three. Twelve years. And twelve years. Was he one when Harry went? Was he one? Was he one? I suppose he would have been. Alright, so I get three points. Well done, me, I guess. <laughs> what is used to destroy the Horcrux cup? That would have to be a spell. What Horcrux cup? Isn't it water? After Ron eats a box of chocolates laced with love potion, Harry takes him to a professor. That would be Slughorn, I think. God, this is so bad. It's a really difficult question. What happens to Harry's arm when Professor Lockhart tries to fix it after a Quidditch match? It loses all of its bones. What object does Dumbledore say allows him to revisit memories? It's pensive. How many brothers does Ron have? George and Fred. Percy. Four. Four brothers. What item of clothing does Harry cleverly force Lucius Malvoy to give Dobby? A sock. Dobby is a free elf. This is going to contain spoilers, by the way. Basilisk fang. Does it? Okay. Slughorn, one point. Bones disappear, two points. Pencil, three points. Five and a sock. Oh, I missed a brother. Who did I miss? I don't know. So I got one, two, three, four, plus three, that's seven, out of a possible twelve. Yeah, it's okay. According to Sirius Black, which member of Dunstrang is a former Death Eater? Again, not my favourite. In which of Harry's school years does Professor Snape finally get to teach defence against the dark arts? That would be... Wait, let me see... Quirrell... Lockhart... Who teaches in... Oh, Lupin. Five. According to Hermione, when performing a curse, what is essential for it to work properly? Emotion. Whose image appears on the Daily Prophet's front page labelled as the undesirable? Number one. That's serious, is it not? What is the name of Gilderoy Lockhart's self present autobiography? Ah, I can see it. Magical me? Harry practices Patronus charm on what type of creature in Professor Lupin's office? Patronus charm on what type of I don't know why he's charming the Patronus on a creature, that doesn't make any sense. Was he trying to conjure a stag? It wasn't a stag. I'll say stag. Karkaroff. Six. Ah, I was a book out. Maintaining eye contact. Well, I was right, but just not what Hermione said. Harry Potter's, what was the question? Magical me, thank goodness. Oh, Boggart. Yes, obviously. See, it's hard to think of a Boggart as a creature because a Boggart looks like not a creature, unless you think of a creature. Harry Potter, yes. Okay, so I got, <laughs> I got a pathetic 
like one point. So we're going to be up to eight. Karkarov. Oh, for goodness sake, couldn't we have had this question before the other one? Karkarov offers up the names of Rosia, Rockwood, Snape, and which other Death Eater at his trial that Harry sees through the pensive. It's not, it's, it's not Malfoy. I'm going to have to say... <sighs> Pettigrew? Was Pettigrew ever a death eater? I don't know. Greybook. <laughs> what does L stand for? Ordinary wizarding lessons? What does the spell Larkinum Inflammare do when Hermione uses it and Professor Snape's robes when she's about switching in the house? Yes, of course, um, it sets fire to his robes. What saves Harry, Ron, and Fang from being devoured by the spiders in the Forbidden Forest? Let's see, Centaur. What is Lupin's middle initial? Ah, oh, Remus. I feel like J, Miss J Lupin. I don't know with J. What type of animals carry bullets and packages in the western world? Apples. Barry Crutch. Oh, they have a tenant. Ordinary wizarding levels. Is that what I said? That was a guess. Did I get that right? Maybe my memory isn't so bad. I get one point. Sets fire to his robes. Two points. The flying car. What was the question? J. Yes. Three points. Owls. Four points. Oh yes, of course. The car comes and picks them up. Yes. I was thinking of a different moment in the Forbidden Fl Florist. Florist. <laughs> forbidden Florist is a whole other thing. So that was what? One. Two, three, four points. I'll be honest, Remus J. Lupin was just a fluke, although I feel like it's probably something that was in the back of my mind. So that's 12 out of a possible 24. Okay, 50%. That's a pass, isn't it? Let's see how I go with this last set. In Harry's second year at Hogwarts, which first year student is thought to have been taken by the monster? Monster? Would you ever have called it a monster? Hmm, into the Chamber of Secrets. That's Ginny Weasley. What subject does Professor Grubby Plank teach in Harry's fifth year? Um, Grubby Plank. I'm going to say, I mean, I'm going to say Herbology, but is Miriam Margulies in the fifth? Um, is, is, is Professor Sprout still there? I'm going with Herbology. What is the name of the curse and effect in Bellatrix's vault which causes everything touched to multiply? Ah, oh, what's it called? It's, it begins with a C, doesn't it? Ah, oh, Bellatrix only. It begins with a C. I'm sure it does. How many types of balls are used to play Quidditch? That is... Quaffle, Bludger, Snitch. It's three. What is Madame Maxim's first name? Oh my goodness. Is it French? M M <laughs> Mabel. Go with Mabel. What creature tries to attack Harry, Ron and Hermione outside of the Shrieking Shack? Creature? Um. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm going to go with... <laughs> I'm going to go with the Hippogriff because it's the first creature I could think of. So I'm on 12 points, Ginny Weasley, 40, uh, 13 points, Care of Magical Creatures, what was the question? Gemini Curse, 3, Werewolf, 3, oh yeah, so 14 points, Gemini Curse, well it had the C in it, it's kind of right, Care of Magical Creatures, yes, that um, yes. Yes, okay. So that's 
So 14 as the possible 30. I believe I have failed the first round. Let me know how you did and I look forward to doing more installments in this series.